I am uh, especially honored to be part of this event tonight because my doctorate comes from the Institute for Advanced Study of Human Sexuality, where I first learned the term sex positive and where I worked with some pretty amazing academics who were interested in this topic and were clear-eyed about looking at it. So, so this is the first organized entity that I have seen in the almost 30 years since I first began engaging with these ideas uh, that wants to take some of that insight and bring it forward. And it, I, it's, it's super moving to me. And I just want to say something about the term sex positive. Uh, I believe that you are using it correctly, unlike everyone else. So may I just say to the millions of people who are watching our online presentation that sex positive has come to, to, to sort of take on the, the, the energy of Which, yay, <laughs> if you do, who could argue with that? That's lovely. It doesn't mean, though, that that's the definition of sex positive. Sex positive seeks to look at a culture that would give everyone in a diverse way what they need to live their best sexual life. And this is not a sex negative, uh, and this is not a sex positive culture, it's a sex negative one, and one's own personal enthusiasm about sex is both protected and, and honored by sex positivity as it originally was, was defined, but not required because virgins can be sex positive, asexual people can be sex positive, anyone can think that we all deserve the right resources and the right shame-free environment to grow in our sexuality, whatever that looks like.